seconds. That's all it takes to turn around a bad feeling, a literally painful physical feeling. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Meerman. I'm very glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Now, metaphysics refers to the fact that there's so much more to life and existence than exactly how we create our reality that we can ever be aware of using only our physical five senses. In fact, more than 99% of what exists in the world is completely, completely unaccessible, or is that inaccessible? Anyway, you don't get to know it's there or experience it so long as you depend on being able to hear, taste, touch, see, or smell it. When you can allow yourself to be open to new experiences, that's when you'll have new experiences. We begin every week with a happy share. Now that's something that leaves you feeling really, really happy and really, really good. And I have a cool happy share that I want to share with you, because if it did this for me, I'll bet it can do amazing things for you. I've had a lot, a lot of health issues ever since I had that brain tumor surgery. And one of them has been a problem with high blood pressure. And since I'm a health fanatic and a healthcare practitioner, I know what to do to lower blood pressure, but I hadn't been able to get it completely down in the range I wanted to. Well, what I do every morning after I meditate is I write a list of 10 things for which I'm grateful. And I don't just list them, I really go through, close my eyes, and one at a time, feel what that event did for me. And of course, when you feel things, you relive them. Remember, mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So I get to feel it all over again and be so incredibly thankful, grateful that it happened. Well, I never thought of it before. But I was feeling a little frustrated that I could get my blood pressure near normal, but definitely not where I wanted it to be. So I decided to take my blood pressure after I completed my gratitude 10 time. And you know what? For the first time in maybe a year, actually, it's probably been more like two or three years, my blood pressure was totally 100% where I wanted it to be. The power of gratitude changes your life. Now, what I wanted to share with you today is what is this thing I'm talking about? In six seconds, you can change everything about the way you're feeling, including physical symptoms. Well, when you look on the webpage, metaphysicalministryinternational.com, you'll notice that it says Rev. Allie Bierman is the minstrel minister. And today, a song came to me. And I thought, okay, surely the universe wouldn't deliver a song to me unless I could sing it. So when I wrote it down and picked up my guitar an hour ago, you know what? I had a strong singing voice. I didn't quite have the range I want to have, so I had to alter how I was singing it. But an hour ago, I could sing it. So I'm not sure what's going to happen right now, because right now... <laughs> My voice seems to be disappearing. Let's see what happens. Because I'm going to set the intention of getting through the song. Because what I have to share is really, really life-changing. It's important and it's free. is 
a must. Don't you agree? I'll tell you more in a minute, revealing the beauty and the power and the love that's in it. When you hug, you can hug because I used to be a psychotherapist I read the studies where cases they weren't humans but they were baby chimpanzees and they were deprived of touch touch and you know what happened they all died a baby a child left alone without touch dies that's why they no longer leave newborns who are premature alone in an incubator now there's touch they were never possible. They're holding. So, what's happening that's causing touch to be important to health? When you touch, you're releasing what's come to be known as a miracle hormone. It's called oxytocin. And I used to think oxytocin only happened in women. It happens during the labor process happens that causes the letdown so that you can easily nurse a child, but it happens a whole lot more often than that. It happens when you touch. It happens when you hug. It's released when you gaze into the eyes of someone you love. Ever notice when you do that, that you get turned on and feel romantic? It's nature's way of procreating the species, keeping it going. That's why cuddling feels so good. Here's what's happening when the oxytocin starts flowing through your body. You have an increase in self-esteem. You have an increase in optimism, an increase in generosity. When you hug heart to heart, and I'm going to see if I can demonstrate that for you hug heart to heart, you get the added piece of your heart beating, coming in synchrony with one another, feeling the real connection. Did you ever notice when you hug or when you're touched or touch someone, you smile? Because it feels good. So you're getting the extra chemical release of all those feel-good hormones. But let me go on with what oxytocin does for you. It also increases your generosity. It allows you to feel empathy for the other person. And it creates instant trust in the other person. When I worked as a psychotherapist, 
just instinctively knew that these people, remember I worked in crisis care, so these were people living at home with happy families with lots of touching, because frankly, in a county facility, you're not allowed to even touch somebody who really needs a hug and needs a touch. And whenever I got to work behind closed doors, it's exactly what I did. Do you know that some of those people never, ever got a hug? Ever? Unfortunately, it wasn't something I could do out in the open. So when people need, in addition to all the things that it's doing for you, producing, raising, it also lowers your stress level. It physically lowers the cortisol that's flowing in your bloodstream. It lowers your blood pressure. It lowers the feelings and symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. It decreases depression and anxiety. And get this, it can even, by the change in the hormonal structure, it can help someone reverse obesity. See why they call it a miracle drug? And here's something really important to know. You may know I'm writing a book that's quite extensively researched by me about mental illness. And you know what? It's possible to totally reverse mental illness. And I'm saying totally, even in the criminally insane. And it's possible to prevent it. And a big part of prevention has to do with diet and what's going on in the gut. Guess where oxytocin receptors are? They're in the gut. See how perfect nature is. Now, not everybody wants to be hugged. It's very important before you touch someone, and especially before you hug someone, to ask, is it okay? Because some people on the autism spectrum, so we're talking autism and Asperger's, we're talking bipolar and schizophrenia and ADD and ADHD. Sometimes you don't want to be hugged. Now, what I was saying before about how this oxytocin helps build empathy and trust, it also can help people who are shy and people with autism, helps them with their social skills, but you don't just walk up and touch somebody unless it's okay with them. So here's something else to know. If hugging doesn't work, say you're meeting a stranger. I'm somebody who's a huggy person. I tend to attract people who hug to me. So I ask if it's okay to hug, or if they ask if it's okay to hug, even people I just met. And if it's not, you know what? Shake your hand. You shake your hand for six seconds, and that touch is releasing oxytocin, and you're connecting, and you need to feel connected to this person you just and you're going to feel good yourself. So, one more thing to note. Virginia Satir founded Family Therapy. And what she said was, it takes four hugs a day just to survive. It takes eight to get by. And it takes 12 hugs a day to thrive. 12 hugs a day to thrive. How many people go through their life? Not even one. So make sure that you give a minimum four hugs a day and make sure that you're getting those four hugs a day. And I'll be back in a moment to see, hopefully to demonstrate what hugging is and one way to hug heart to heart. When we're Americans and we go to hug somebody, we go like this, right arm up, left hand down, right? And we hug, so right cheek to right cheek. That physically weakens both people in the hug. And I demonstrate that all the time when I teach a class. However, when you go and you put your left arm up and your right hand down, and what's touching is left cheek to left cheek, you're empowering yourself and the other person. Hugging heart to heart really important. It's really critical 
and you'll see it in a lot of cultures or within a lot of subcultures, like in the particular healthcare I do as a specialized kinesiologist. In fact, it's the official way to hug Mr. is an official. Anyway, I'm really glad you joined us here today in the ministry. If you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold the Space for. If there's something you want in your life that isn't there now, just let us know what it is. We'll help you manifest it because what we'll do is go to the page and you tell your friends and family to go there. Read every name on it. And just imagine that person living that life. You don't have to know what they look like. You don't have to know who they are. It's a person with a name and the universe knows who they are. So whoever they are, just the way you do gratitude feeling, just feel that this person with this name is manifesting and living the reality they requested. And if it's you, the reality you requested. You haven't done so already going over there. So when you name an email and get your copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. And I really appreciate if you've gotten something out of this, please click like and share so that other people can be aware of the simple power of touch, of a hug, of a loving gaze. And you know what? Just thinking about somebody that you really love, that also releases oxytocin. Isn't that a wonderful way? Hugging and touching, gazing into the eyes of your partner, and just feeling the love of connection. And then, many blessings. I tend to draw huggy person, persons. <laughs> I try. It decreases impre impression. 